hello everyone, and welcome back to the Ranked Report. Um, sorry this is going to be up a little bit later than usual. Um, not too much later, but a bit later. Um, in my defence, I have been... I had a job interview today that wasn't scheduled until yesterday. I planned to record yesterday, but then I had to spend the entirety of yesterday putting together a presentation for this job interview. So... <laughs> It's been a long and stressful couple of days. Yeah, so I've come to unwind with hitting things with Reggie Rock. Uh, <laughs> um, team went 0-2 last time, but I think in both games I had outs and stuff. The team isn't amazing, I'll be honest. Um, but I could have played better, and in fact, I really should have played better, in fact. Um, ooh, this feels like a Dust Ops Rolling Boom game. It's really feels like a Duskwolf's really game. And then, I think I like Reggie Rock Rotom here. Rotom gives me a really good way through the um, Celesteela. I could also just lead Rotom. I could, um... Could I lead Rotom and then bring... Um, mm, who would I lead with Rotom, that's the thing. If I was going to lead Rotom, I'd probably want to lead Rotom Dragapult. Maybe I don't bring Rillaboom in this game, actually. Maybe I do leave Rotom Dragapult. I don't hate that. And then bring Red Drop Dust Pulse back end. I don't hate that, really, because there's nothing that outspeeds Pult. If they lead their tail, etc., I'm just hard to to Clops, right? Does that make sense? Because I don't think they necessarily want to lead Suicune into an obvious Trick Room or a Rillaboom here. And if they do, I can just double into it with Rotom Pult. <clears throat> Go like Airstream T-Bolt. Which I think should kill it and stop them getting Tailwind up. I think this makes sense. I could be wrong, maybe it doesn't make sense, but I think it makes sense. <laughs> um. <clears throat> You're right, you lander, it's interesting. Um. Kind of like a Phantom Force Raichu, then hard switch Rotom into um, Dusclops. I think I need to save Rotom for the end game because otherwise, like this is by far my best way through Celesteela. Um, this just stops Raichu from from nuzzling me. If it does nuzzle me, I can just get Trick Room up the turn after. Not too scared of Landorus. Sash and AV. Okay. So Lando can't protect. That's good information. Max Lando as well. They burn their Max super early. Anything into Dragapult just gets eaten, which is fine. Um, and anything into Clops, I think I take pretty handily. I could see this being Rockfall into Clops, potentially. Yeah, maybe it would have been better for me to just switch in. Um... Oh. Sorry, I don't know if that lagged out for anyone else, but maybe my best option would have been to switch in Regirock there, actually. Nothing to Pult. And Airstream also into Pult. That's a really good turn. That's an insanely good turn. Um, so now I just press Trick Room, right? <clears throat> I mean, this is double into Dust Clops, there's no way they can kill me here. Uh, so I get Trick Room up and I can kill Raichu next turn with, um, Clops. Helping Hand, yeah. Helping Hand Quake. I don't know if Helping Hand Quake could even kill me on a crit here with Assault Vest. Okay, that's Phantom Force. Goes down to Sash. Good stuff. Um. Ideally, Dragapult goes down here. They do airstream into Pulp. That's a mistake. Okay, I'll get Red Rock in for free. Um... Uh, TR goes up, and I get Red Rock in for free. So the question is, what do I do now? Um... Is this... <sighs> I want to say this is Helping Hand Quake into Regirock. Um, what I'm tempted to do is I'm tempted to just go for um, Rockfall here into land and break, break myself. Um, is there any point to it? No, I think I like Curse here actually. There's no way I die um, to an attack here from uh, Lando with the Curse. Um, 
I don't think I care about leaving Roy too alive. I guess I don't want to get nuzzled. What are they in the back, though? I guess they don't really have anything in the back that threatens me either, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to not share the Roy Get rid of it. That's helping hand. This just eliminates the, the possibility of, like, power hacks or whatever. Um, okay, I get rid of the Roy Chew. I guess there is, they probably just go Quaker to Regirock, but then they give me my policy for free. Um, and now I have big Regirock. Um... Yeah, there's the Quake. I'll live this through Curse. What a beast. Um, best case scenario is they bring in something here that I can Drain Punch. That would be enjoyable. Okay. Regirock gets beefy. Oh, I can also Pain Split Regirock with my Dusk Ops. That's an interesting idea. Oh, I forgot they had Rillaboo. I completely forgot they had Rillaboom. Okay, this was a bad play. This is a very bad play. I should've just... Yeah, I should've just maxed my Regirock. What am I doing? <laughs> I could've gone Max Regirock. Um, side Brick Break. Yeah, because Rillaboom just kills me now, doesn't it? I'd have to max Guard. Um, which I don't really want to do. Hmm... Do I just sack Regirock? What's Regirock actually doing for the rest of this game? I mean, this forces the Grassy Glide, um, at the very least. So I'm going to Drain Punch the... Actually, no, I'll just Rock Slide to give it damage. In case they, for some reason, don't Grassy Glide me. Um, and then I guess I just Nightshade the uh, Lando, get some damage down on it. Yeah, there's Grassy Glide. Could potentially switch into Rotom there, but I didn't want to accidentally switch in Rotom on, like, a um, Rock Slide or something. Yeah, I completely forgot to factor in Rillaboom. That was dumb. That was really dumb of me. Okay. It seems to be a U-turn. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to switch in Rotom. I still have Max, though. Like, Max Max Rotom does good damage here. Who's this? Selly? Could potentially be Seller Stealer. I could see. It is Seller Stealer. Okay. Um, I am very afraid of Power Herb Meteor Beam. If I'm to be honest. Um, so I'm going to bring Rotom here, right? Um, well, I can get around that by protecting, can't I? How many turns left in Trick Room? I want to say two. So, yeah, the two turns left in Trick Room, what I can do here is I can go for um, Protect this turn. And then just... Uh, who do I Nightshade? I don't think it really matters, does it? Uh, I guess Chip Jumps and Celestia is kind of nice here. Um... My one, my one worry is if this is Power Herb Meteor Beam. Um, in which case I get around that by just protecting the, the Meteor Beam this turn. Um, and then they'd lose any damage output because Seal and Flying are both doing nothing to this Rotom. Okay, Grassy Glide. Uh, Nightshade into Selly. Reasonable damage. Oh, they just can't hit this Rotom. Okay. Good stuff. Um... Can I afford to set up a plot here? Or do I just minimise damage? I don't think I need a plot, do I? Um, I'm just going to Flare Rillaboom. And also Nightshade Rillaboom, I think. Because um, then next time I outspeed Celesteela and just kill it with... Um, actually, I don't care about Celesteela, do I? If it's best attacking to me is Air Slash, I don't care about it. If I can get rid of Rillaboom here, then I'm, I'm set. Right, the rise of the toaster. It is time. Glide does more than I thought it would, honestly. Is that banded? The AV's on Lando. Oh, it's gonna have some damage to boosting. I took absolutely nothing. Yeah. Maxing also got around the flinch here. Uh, the life orb. Okay, that's. I think that's just game, isn't it? We know Lando's assault vest, so it's pretty safe to just double into it here. 
Um, wait, why did I double on Ruin? That was stupid. Um, I absolutely didn't need that Nightshade because we know the Assault vs is on Landorus. That was silly. That was that was a bad double up. I could have got free damage on Sally. Not that it matters. Um, I think I still just win here because yeah, I can just go Flare Nightshade into Landorus here. Um, and then, yeah, they just can't get through Rotom. Flare into Landorus, and Nightshade also into Landorus. Yeah, uh, I should have gone for the chip on Celesteela, but I don't think it really matters. Rock Slide, unless they crit me here, which they don't. Uh, they could have also flinched Clops, which could be a problem. Bonk. Oh, that just straight up kills Lando. Wow, okay. Let's go. Oh. So they have Meteor Beam, but they're life orbs, so they can only really use it if they're max. Yeah, this is why I don't think you ever really want to run Meteor Beam without, um... Without power up. Yeah, just flare here. I mean, their best move is to protect, but I don't think it really makes a difference. Um, yeah, I mean, I just Nightshade. Doesn't matter what I do here, they can't win. Even if they protect the flare here, they, um, they just get hit by a T-Bolt next turn. Goodbye. Yeah, sadly has gone. Nice. Okay, I did misplay that by just completely failing to consider the Rilla Boom, but... Yeah. I should, should have figured they'd bring Celesteela, in which case, yeah, I, I didn't need to worry about Rilla Boom because Rotom was always going to win that. Um, yay. Um, no, I don't really care. Right, on to the next one. We finally have a win on this series with the uh, Regirock team. <laughs> and Regirock did little to nothing. It's interesting though that we managed to bring the, the Dragonblood Rotom. I feel like we haven't really brought that very much. Um, Guillaume. What's Guillaume got for me? Sun. Yay. We love Sun. Apart from the fact that we don't. We just really don't love Sun. But... Dude, Kiss Metagross is scary. I think Kiss Metagross means I kind of have to bring Rotom. Actually, Rotom is really good in this matchup. I've got no reason not to leave Rotom here. I guess the only potential issue is um, is the duck. Do I have, have knockoff on this room? I feel like I do. Uh, I do, yeah, okay. So I can actually just knock off the duck here. Mm, but I just don't like Rillaboom in this matchup in general, honestly. I like Reggie Rock. Do I just go Rotom Pult here? Rotom Pult seems a decent lead into this. Actually, the same as last time. Uh, I guess redirection's also kind of nice here. Um, my worry is if they leave Metagross. Because if they have Metagross lead and they go for, like, weakness policy prop. Well, actually, redirection would be good in that case as well, wouldn't it, actually? Yeah. Maybe I'll do this. Although, if they go Metagross, I think I want. But I don't want Pult? Because Dragapult after a speed boost left me out speed Metagross, won't it? Maybe I do want Dragapult here, actually. Yeah, I'm going to save as last time, I think. Um, Pult, Plops, and Regirock here. Yeah. Maybe Regirock wasn't the ring. Maybe Regirock was not the ring. Hmm. Yeah, well, I've been to Sun is kind of sus. Um, downside of Regirock over, like, Tyranitar is that it doesn't give itself the special defense boost with the, um... Okay, they do go for, for this, which is fine, because that is what I played around. I think they want to go after Rotom here, right? I think this might be brutal to rock fall into Rotom. Um, in which case I just go for... Well, no, because if they have brutal swing, I can airstream them. They have to Tailwind here, right? If they tailwind, I can still protect Rotom. Yeah, I'm just going to protect Rotom here this turn. Uh, I think I just airstream into the um, into this boy because this is surely going to be tailwind. Um, yeah, if they don't tailwind, they're just dead. You can also protect Metagross this turn, I guess. Um, just try and bait me hitting them in, hitting a policy. But if they do that, I can just double into Metagross next turn, and it's fine. Big Pult. <clears throat> okay, big Metagross, yeah. 
That makes sense. I expected nothing less. Um, I'm mostly just scared of Max Rock falling to Rote on there. Um, I protect. Okay. Why? I do not understand that one. Bonk. Okay. And they do have rock pool, okay. Um, so I think what I want to do here is I want to go for airstream into... Um, could I lift that, actually? Eh. Yeah. I guess it wasn't worth going for it. But um, what I can do now, I think, is I can go for... Um, I can just overheat into the Metagross and uh, airstream into... <clears throat> oh, they were maybe scared of a will of Dragapult, I see. Um, but I can airstream into this thing and then um, just overheat Metagross. So Metagross either takes over half from that um, or it's not weakness policy. Um, which I think I'm fine with either way. Um, and then in theory that should put it in range of uh, Phantasm next turn and uh, Dragapult starts speed even without, uh, sorry, even with Tailwind up. Um, which is fine. So I'm setting off its policy for it, but I don't think I really care too much. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay. They don't set Tailwind. So I guess they were just going for a brutal swing there. Um, I think that works out fine for me. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a rockfall into Rotom. Um, so setting off policy here doesn't really matter, because it's dead anyway. That's so much damage. Let's go Rotom. Oh, it's a crit, that's why. Is that a salt vest, then? It is. Okay. That's good information. That also means it can't protect, so it's just dead to a... It's dead to a phantasm here. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything that can stop me from just killing it with life orb phantasm. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just bringing clops here, right? Just need the option to set up trick room. Um... Hmm. Honestly, I think Life Orb Phantasm probably would have killed this thing. Any flies are what's that? Vidu. Um. I have one singular worry here. It's Sash. Okay, well, that's fine. It's dead again. There's Av. I have one singular worry about this Venusaur, which is they switch Torkoal into. Oh wait, no, because Dragapult still outspeeds, isn't it? Do I care about Metagross here if it's Assault Best? I don't think Steel Spike is going to kill me here, so what I could do is I could just go for, um... <clears throat> I could just swing at the Venusaur. Um, no, I don't want to give Venusaur a defense boost. So I think what I do here is I just click Trick Room. Um, do I click Trick Room? No, not with the Pulp in the field. I'm just going to Nightshade the, the Venu. Um, and I'm going to Phantasm the Metagross. This is a free kill. Um... Dead. Defense drop and Venu. I think with defense drop and Nightshade, this should probably be in range of a Dragon Darts now. Um, would be my guess. Um, if they put Pult to sleep here, then I think I go for um, Lady put Pult to sleep. That's fine. Um, so I go for Trick from this turn then. Oh, I guess they can just put my Clops to sleep though this turn is the issue. Yeah, maybe I should have said Trick from here. Damage. Well, the Venu probably can't. Like, Venu is probably carrying either, like, Leaf Blade. Uh, not Leaf Blade. Um, Leaf Storm or Frenzy Plant. Um, which I think is fine. Is this Torkoal? Yeah, it's Torkoal. Okay. So, do I want Trick from here? Ah, this puts up Sun, which is a problem. Although, I will say, yeah, I'm much more scared of Venusaur than I am of um, Torkoal, so I'm just going to go for the um, Trick from here. Yeah, I should have up to Venus all that turn. Although I guess I couldn't have KO'd it, so I would have been put to sleep regardless. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna TR. 
Um, <clears throat> I guess just darts. I don't know if they can kill my Pult here, really. If they get Trick Rock, then I'm pretty sure I just kind of win with the uh, Ranger Rock. They hit both their Sleep Powders, very cool. This game is fun and very interactive. What does Torkoal go for, then? Oh, it just erupts, yeah, that makes sense. Um, Jesus, that was a lot. Um, <clears throat> hmm. I think it just comes down to whether or not Dragapult and Dusclops wake up this turn. I think if either of them wake up this turn, I'm probably okay. If both, then even better. Dragapult stays asleep, very cool. Ah, uh, they can just double into... Um, Yeah, single target eruption will kill me from here. They crit me. I don't think that mattered, but... <sighs> single target eruption. Oh, wake up! Come on. Come on! Double hit sleep powder. Neither of my ones wake up turn one. If either red Pokemon wake up turn one there, I think I win. Genuinely. Um, the problem is I can't protect with Regirock here. I mean, I, pr I guess I hope they miss a grass type move on Regirock, or it somehow doesn't get no, it doesn't kill. Uh, actually, I guess I have to go for a pain split here then, don't I? Uh, I guess into Torkoal. Um, rock slide. No way I win this. Actually, no way I win this. Frenzy plant, and they hit. Okay. If Klops wakes up this turn, there is maybe hope. Please, Dustlops. Please. Ah, no, there's no hope, is there? Okay, I finally wake up. I pain split into the Torgol. I get loads of health back. And then they erupt, so this shouldn't do very much. Um, never mind, that still does more than I wanted it to. Um, I can't afford a trick from here, is the problem. Um... I don't think Twops can win this. God, I hate Sleep Powder. I hate Sleep Powder so much. <laughs> the odds are in my favour to win that by a, by a comfortable margin. Um, I could do the maths on that if you want, but I can't bother to play this out. It's boring. In fact, I'm going to do the maths on this. So, let me think. So they had to hit both their Sleep Powders. Um, they're not wide lens, so that's 75 each. Um, so, not quite 75 times 0.75 so we're already at a little over half and then um, right and then what they have to have neither of my Pokemon wake up on turn one which is two thirds um, each so two divided by three Oops. so let's see two thirds uh, times two thirds, times three quarters, times three quarters, is, wait, is that how that works out? Hold on, two thirds by two thirds, four ninths. Oh, that works out nicely, yeah. So, that's a one in four. So the odds are in my favour for me to win that game. They have to double hit Sleep Powder and neither my Pokemon wake up on turn one. If either my Pokemon wake up turn one, I guess if I like miss Rock Slide on Venusaur, then maybe I'm in trouble. But beyond that, like Torkoal's not winning against Reggie Rock, um, and Venusaur's at minus one defense. Uh, would I have killed it? Maybe not. I guess. Yeah. Or they could have missed Frenzy Plant. So I guess that's another point nine in there as well. If they miss Frenzy Plant, I'm in a decent spot. Uh, annoying. I hate Sun. It's so it's so high variance. Which is just irritating. I hate playing against high variance teams because it just it just becomes a case of like, do they hit their sleep powder? Do I wake up this turn? It all just becomes like rolling dice, which is irritating. But oh well, I guess you have to you have to hold that. I don't know how much I could have really played around that. This team does not have a very good sun matchup apart from Rotom. Rotom is my entire sun matchup. Um, I guess maybe I should have gone after Venusaur instead of going after Metagross. Um, Thing is, I could have gone for. Well, I could have gone Phantasm into Venusaur. It would have gone down to Sand. I could have set up Trick Room, and then Nightshade would have killed Metagross. 
Yeah, actually, maybe that would have been the better option. I think it would have been better to to just take out Venusaur. Um, I just got too scared of that Max. Mm. Oh well. We learn, we learn, and we move on. One on one's not awful though. Um, but yeah, that is all for for this episode. Um, again, apologies, it's slightly late. Um, thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, please do sub to the YouTube. Um, and also go follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. I do... Well, I'm back to VGC content now that Series 9 is up. Um, so go check that out if you've enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, that is all for me this time. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.